You know why I'm wearing orange? Because there's people, there's people on either side of me that are shooting at this same mountain that I'm about to climb. <laughs> so thankfully, I have this little wall and I can stay to the this side of the road, the path. So if they do shoot towards me, hopefully it'll go over me. Today it was supposed to be pretty light, like uh, seven miles an hour base wind speed, and then gust up to 11 or 12, which is perfectly fine if you can sustain that wind. The issue is there's still thermals. It's still kind of early in the day. Let's see what time it is. 2:50. So there's still thermals breaking off. What happens is a thermal will break off upwind of you and the thermal will block your wind speed. And so then you'll sink out, you'll start to sink out, and you can still maintain enough altitude so that when the thermal reaches the ridge, then you'll climb in the thermal, and then once the thermal passes the ridge, the wind speed will increase, and that's where you get your gusting up to 12. And then you'll be able to soar, no problem, until the next thermal breaks off upwind of your ridge. And that cycle just repeats itself. All right, getting set up. Got my bags put away, got the wing ready. Feels pretty good, it's gonna be close, we'll see. One more tip on lighter wind days. What you can do is, if you launch in a low cycle, when there's thermal blocking occurring, your chances of staying up are much less. So you wanna time your cycles, pay attention to when the wind speed is increasing and decreasing. You can even time it with a watch if you want to. And then wait to launch in a, the beginning of a strong cycle. Right as the wind starts to increase, kind of like right now, that's your best time to launch to give you your best chances of staying up. So I've got my wing laid out. I'm going to build a wall now. Very nice, perfect conditions. This universal for a this universal for a free flight wing is freaking good, man. I just recommend flying it near the uh, the middle of the weight range, and then use it for like thermal practice. Use it for light ridge soaring, light winds, because the handling on this wing is very good for for like a low B or a mid beat wing, the handling is very, very good on it. Even lighter in the weight range. A lot of paraglider wings, you really gotta load them up and fly them at the top to get good handling. This wing has great handling. Obviously, it's not gonna be as efficient as something like an Ozone Swift 5 or a Rush 5, but it's not meant to be because it's, it's a paramotor wing as well. But this wing, has amazing handling for its class, even lightly loaded. So I think the Universal really shines. You can fly it lighter loaded, but you don't, you're not losing that speed range because of the trimmers and the reflex. This wing can still go very fast, even lightly loaded. And the handling is still really good. Great, great, great wing. I'm joined by a red tail hawk. Soaring the ridge with me. 
coming to check me out. What's up, dude? Tell you what, the red tails don't come fly with you when you're flying with a motor. I'm gonna show you how good this wing is. Let's do a, let's do a little asymmetric collapse here. Great wing. Let's do one to the left. Love it. Solid. in the universal oh a little thermal action right here and we're climbing i don't know if you can see that <laughs> there's the uni beautiful wing. but uh yeah i'm gonna soar i can't leave the camera on my battery will die but i'll be up here for a while i'll try to turn it off for landing peace Look at that shadow. Yeah, look at that shadow. I was getting thermal blocked made my wind speed die down because there's a thermal out front of the ridge now I'm pushing away from the ridge lift and into the thermal and I'm climbing Passive launch on full bar, yeah. All right, the landing spot is the triangle in front of the dirt bike. Oh no, freaking great. Worst landing of my life. Oh well, 
There's like zero wind down here. That's what I get for being a clown.